bench. Mr. Myers, good morning. How are you? Very good. Good day to be a New Orleanian, it's bottom line. Great day to be a New Orleanian. Um, give me your give me your thoughts on Zion. Everybody's got a got an opinion on him. Um, just what 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 do you believe he's bringing to the city? Well, it's uh, first you got to succeed on the floor, then it falls into place in the city. But he's going to be involved in the city. But after watching a lot of film and talking to a lot of friends that have been in the ACC and watched him in his only season there, uh, his read and react at the defensive end of the floor. He is really. Basketball like you is a sharp young man. So that helps because the Pels have not been a great defensive team. But if you have a Draymond Green type of free safety, they can read, react, recover. He just gets it. And I watched a bunch of his, his plays at the defensive end. He understands, and he's a really good help defender. So uh, that's great overall. I have Alonzo Ball at the one, Drew at the two, Brandon Ingram at the three, Zion at the four, you fill in the blank at the five, and you have to be determined with the fourth pick because that's going to be fun for us tonight as well. Joel, you've seen so much NBA basketball specifically over the last couple of years, and the game has changed a bit, especially on the lower block. Uh, Julius Randle down there with Zion, lack of size, but is that that big of a deal in in today's NBA world? I know that there's some contract stuff happening with Randle and whether or not he'll be there, but uh, let's say that they enter there with Zion and Randall as their low block players. Is the size discrepancy that big of an issue? Well, it's not. If for matchup, every night is different. So yeah. for matchup purposes, you also have Chris Wood. Christian Wood did a really good job. He had a bunch of blocks at the end of the year. In fact, he had four or five in one game. So there's going to be nights where you need a longer guy, but a lot of teams are playing small ball to begin with. And it's four out one end maybe, and that one end may not be that big a deal anyway, and they may not be looking for him in the post. If anything, it's just for rebounding purposes. So I don't think it is a big issue. But the Pels already have a young man they invested in at the end of the year. He's been in New Orleans all summer working on his game. So let's see what Chris Wood does. He's only 22 years old to begin with. Joel, a lot of people are talking about in David Griffin we trust now with the New Orleans Pelicans as this – uh, new vice president, president of basketball ops, bringing in kind of a new mentality, uh, a new regime as far as Trajan Langdon and Swin Cash and all these new faces down in New Orleans. It seems like you had a great relationship with Griffin in some radio work before he landed down here in New Orleans. Give me a little bit of the background between you and his relationship and the vision you see him bringing down to the franchise. Well, my relationship with David goes back a lot longer than <laughs> two years on Sirius XM, and we did uh, shows together. In fact, we did every Saturday together for a couple of years, uh, the business side of basketball. Uh, other shows as well, Monday through Friday, but that was our, our guarantee. We knew we were going to be together. And what I knew was that, and I've known David for over 20 years. So I've known David from the early days with the Phoenix Suns, long before he was the number two guy for Steve Kerr there. And what I like about David, and I've said this to a couple of other people, he didn't skip any steps. He's in this position because he worked really hard. He put in his Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 hours. So we're the the recipients of somebody in the prime of their business life as he comes in now and joins us and and then also brings in Trajan, Swin, you just brought up. Bright, creative people attract similar sorts. And now, all of a sudden, not that we're, I'm going to say we're a think tank, but the Pelicans have transformed into a totally different basketball operation. And it's a real healthy situation, uh, sharing ideas, creative people, uh, bouncing things around. And it's just the beginning. That's the, the real positive. It's just started for all of us. So, And then to have this land, Zion, with the fourth pick as well, and what David does with that, we trust him to make the prudent decision. There's so much speculation around that. But going back to what you originally said, David's just sharp. David gets it. And, and other, others want to be around him. These are the days you want to be around people like David, work with them. And uh, there's an energy. There's a spirit right now that we haven't had in my years here. Yeah, Joel, I was, I was saying earlier in the show that like, I'm excited for my eight-year-old son. You know, somebody like coming into the prime of his just like right. loving, passionate about sports to be able to have a front row seat to the Pelicans because it just feels right right now. I mean, it just feels like they are trending in the right direction, like they're heading for something special. Well, give Mrs. Benson credit. Gail interviewed due diligence. Gail and the executive team met with five or six really good candidates. In fact, 
the, the gentleman that was just hired, Gerson Rosas, by Minnesota as their president of basketball ops. So they did it the right way, as opposed to some other organizations that the, the Pels have had to deal with lately. Uh, so give Mrs. Benson some credit. And also give Gil credit for the fact that it, David came in and said, you know, we're kind of deficient in this area of sports medicine, and we need a, a bigger area here. And then our, our equipment, uh, as far as weight training and other things in the facility, I'd like to do this and that. And she said, what do you need? And that was it. It was a blank check. And they're putting another, and on the low end, I'll say at five, this, remember this, Jordy, that facility is brand new, six years old, mm-hmm. and it's beautiful. But it's going to be expanded. Mrs. B is putting in better than another $5 million. That's the low end. To make sure that the Pels compete at every level. So these are, I know the team came in 2002, and I've only been here the last eight years, but these are the healthiest of times for this franchise. Without question. That's the most entrusting part is seeing the ability and, and just um, her, her her vision, her vision to go out there and find the best, bring in the best, pay the best. I mean, like, they have made so much of a big deal. Joel, you just brought it up. The, the addition of Aaron Nelson, I've never heard a a, a, a team doctor, um, a, a, a physician coming in and having so much of an impact on on just the feeling of the franchise. Well, go talk to Grant Hill about Aaron yeah, Nelson. Yeah. Grant Hill couldn't get on the – Shaq, five too. contract with Orlando. Right. Five years in Orlando. Four of the five he couldn't get on the floor with health problems. And once he got to Phoenix and they recognized and identified what they needed to do, uh, they got Grant Hill back on the floor. They recreated his career at the end of his career so he could play with Steve Nash in that group. So that's huge. There's so many little things that are being done behind the scenes. It's just a positive time. And then, and then, as I said, he had a 1.6 or 1.7% chance. I, hey, when they won in Cleveland, that was his percentages to win the lottery. I said uh, uh, when we introduced him, I said, no pressure at all, but I'm giving you 6%. <laughs> so you better win the lottery. So uh, David's just – David and his wife Meredith are really – it boils down to working with good people, yeah. quality people. And that's what we have now in New Orleans. And he's already bought a home. He and his wife are here. He can't wait. He loves the city. He's already embraced the city. He's taking everything in. I'll just give you this story. We had dinner. And a couple of nights later, I got a text from David asking me the dessert that we had because he was back at the same restaurant uptown. That's he great. couldn't wait to go back. So they're all all in. And, and that's the best part is that now we have a group that's fully invested, all in. And, and there's changes across the board. So these are really good times. I, I just I wish it was October. Put it that way. Yeah, for, for real. I'll always love to pick your mind on, on the city, restaurants, culture, the arts. If you're if you're showing Zion and his family around when they get here for for their first stay, I know that they were there last week. Uh, where would you take him? Well, first of all, I'm, my budget doesn't call. <laughs> my expense account doesn't call for Commander's Palace. That's right. okay. That's right. <laughs> that was great. That was a great. And one. I love it that people wanted to know that. Did you order chicken tenders? And <laughs> it was great. Andrew Lopez is a really good writer for the Times Picky You and said, no, no, no. He was eating shrimp. Don't worry. It was a little brother with the chicken tenders. The five-year-old. Worried about it. Right. I, we've gotten to TMZ now, haven't we? Yeah, we so have. If I'm picking a spot for him, you see, I'm I'm a joint guy. So I like to go to, for poor boys, Parkway or Krabby Jack. And I'd also, and this is where David called or texted me from. We went to Clancy's a couple of nights earlier That's uptown. That's a winner. So whether it's Vincent's for our Italian uptown, I love Vincent's on St. Charles. And, and then Mandina's and a Venetia pizza pie. Uh, so, and, and I can go down the list of the high end restaurants, but that's not in my budget. You see where I'm taking Absolutely. So, Overstuffed shrimp po' yeah. boy from, uh, from Parkway Tavern sounds fantastic. Yeah, I love it. Uh, my favorite. Love it. That and Krabby Jack's, it's tough to beat. Thanks for waking up with us, man. Great stuff this morning. Have more coffee for me. Yes, sir. There he is, Joel Myers, checking in from New Orleans. Is everybody excited as it turns in? to the land of Zion today. We'll close it out next.